Okay. Here we go. What's today? Hello, 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 babe. I started the live stream. Started the live stream. We'll wait for people to come on in. Meet the teeth. Meet the teeth. So whatever you say, babe, is going to be on the live stream. So don't say nothing crazy. Hello, Barbara, Katie. Hello, Sunshine. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> Go to sleep, TT. Listen, every day... This this week, not this week, but every day in May, I'm going to be trying to go live stream. So you have plenty of live streams to, to jump in on. <laughs> so get some get some rest. I was sleepy last night, girl. I was so tired. I was in uh, the Demo Shack family live stream. I literally fell asleep and my computer died. So I totally get it. Make sure you give this live stream a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try this again because yesterday my, um, yeah, I know. I know y'all are one hour ahead of us. It's 915, which is still kind of late. But again, I'm here by myself. Don't have nothing much to do. So why not? And I'm not sleepy because I came in from work and I went to sleep. I took a nap and the nap was anointed. Okay. I had plenty of missed calls on my phone. It was great. I loved every second of it. I loved every second of it. I'm watching this um, Bucks game. Since you know we from Milwaukee. Um... What I would give for a nap after work. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I normally don't take naps after work, but I'm literally here by myself. So <laughs> I have nothing to do because I'm not going out there in them streets because I do not know nobody out here staying in my room for sure. So I you, I went on your Insta story and I saw the um the quiz you gave for your boys. Tell me why I got a hundred percent. I got everybody right. I'm like, oh, I got this one. That's Alex. Oh, I I know this one. I know. I'm like, what kind of question is this? I know what they look like. <laughs> Aced it, hundred percent. Shoot. Um, Chris is on the phone. Chris, say hi. Hey, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> He's on the phone with me. Um, do you have to give any double looks? Um, do I have to get any double looks? Maybe I have to like look real good, like mm, who is this? I I did have to kind of look pretty pretty hard, but they do look alike. Like y'all are hey, on point with how y'all make kids. Like, they literally all look the same. Oh, really? They got the first one wrong? TT said, hey. Hey, babe. Oh, it's Um, A lot of them got the first one wrong. Yeah, because the oldest, well, they're not older, but the, the youngest one, that's a shoe in. But the two older ones, they very much look the same. They very much look the same. So I can see how they got that one wrong. All in love with them. Uh, because they're all in love with them. Let me see. Uh, so I haven't eaten dinner yet, but um, I'm in love with it. All in love with them. <laughs> Oh, 
So yeah, so I'm just um chilling, just waiting for some more people to get in here. Hey Cleveland, listen, you about to earn you a blue ranch because you be in here kicking it hard with me and Chris. Like consistently, Cleveland, because you are very consistent. <laughs> Girl. My cup of ice, let's just call it that. Let's just say um, Chick-fil-A today. Did I tell you that, babe? Babe. Uh, Did I tell you Chick-fil-A literally got me a cup of ice? I ordered a cup of lemonade, but I received a cup of ice today. Like the whole thing was ice. And you know, I normally don't order larges, right? Or uh, normally order like a regular size, but I like Chick-fil-A lemonade. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a large today. And I end up getting a whole cup of ice. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Doughboy410. Oh, hello. Welcome to the live. Welcome. A large cup too. Yes. Like a large cup of ice. Um, Doughboy41, welcome. Uh, make sure you give this a thumbs up, you guys. Yes, give it a thumbs up when you come in. And um, and once we get some more people in here, we're going to start uh, working on some goals. Uh, but how are you guys doing? Um, how was y'all day? I'm going to see. Are we connected, Doughboy41? Hmm, your name does not look familiar. Oh. Yes. Um, dope boy four one. Um, make sure like he right already on it, already on it. Um, he's already connected with TT. TT Party of Six has great content. It's a family channel. She does vlogs. Um, she has a wonderful, wonderful family. Um, Cleveland. Uh, he has a great channel as well. He has, um, he shows his different artwork. He shows his artwork on his channel. Um, and he also has a video of him singing at church. So make sure you go to their video, shine your light the right way. And how we do that, we go to their channel, we comment on their content, we watch their content, and then we drop our ray of sunshine. That's how we, uh, that's how we do it the right way. Okay. Um, same. Okay, cool. So, right. Awesome. You guys are connected. Um, okay. And I will double check to make sure that I have you, Doughboy. For sure. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, I literally got a cup of ice and I was so mad and I didn't even notice it until all the lemonade was gone. And I was like, wait, that was not enough lemonade. Hey, uh-oh. Guess who's in the building? Babe, guess who in the building? Guess who here? Oh. You're not going to be able to. It's plenty of people you could guess. But my dad is here, you guys. My dad is here. I'm about to give you a horn, okay? Because I got a new toy. Hopefully, y'all can hear it because Chris is on the phone. My dad is here, you guys. My dad is here. If you guys can say hello to my dad, it's Gary Howard. Say hello to him. What up, dad? I know you just text me. It's, I know. I'm so bad at texting people back. <laughs> Hello, Sunshines. Make sure you're coming on in uh, to the live stream and give this live stream a thumbs up. So, Dad, make sure you hit the thumbs up button um, as you're coming in. I appreciate it. Hello, Demo Chef family. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, you guys. So, I told you I was, I told y'all I was. Y'all gonna really get to know me this month of May because I'm going live a whole lot this month for sure. And I feel like we're gonna start um, talking about different things. We miss you. Okay, I gotta give Octavia a horn, you guys. I have to give her a horn because we miss you guys, like for real, for real. We went to Allen Outlets, okay? Everyone say hi, Octavia, because she is in the building. We went to the Allen Outlets, right? 
straight looking for y'all. <laughs> and we didn't even think to call or like text you before we showed up. We were just like, oh yeah, they there. We just like guaranteed they were going to be there. And Chris was so heartbroken. He was like, Melissa, they not here. Yeah. So we can't wait for y'all to come back. How's it going um, back home? I saw y'all flyer. It looks like you guys had it popping. Like, did you see they flyer on Facebook, babe? Huh? Did you see um one guy steak and chicken flyer on Facebook? Yeah, Dude, it's popping. Like, they had, like, plenty of people. We're like, yes, welcome back. That's how we're going to get y'all to that, that status in here in Texas, like, for real. Because um, because it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching the Bucks game too. Um, the Bucks, because we are from Milwaukee, so we are watch. I'm watching the Bucks game, and so is Chris. Oh, and Chris is on the phone. Everyone say hi, Chris. Chris, say hi, babe. Let's go, Bucks. Go, Bucks, go. Um, yeah, it's one thirteen to eighty seven. You guys, it's one thirteen to eighty seven. Hello, living your best life. Live. Um, hello, welcome to the live stream. Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up, you guys. Um, uh, we are we are booked and busy for the next 12 days here. That is a blessing. That's a blessing. So, for those who don't know, okay, Octavia, um, her and uh his name is it Kendrick? I think it's Kendrick. Okay, yes, they have a food truck called One Guy Steak and Chicken. And the food is, but okay, Chef Kendrick, um, it's phenomenal. I'm telling you, the food is so good. And we literally just like walked up on them one day. We was at the um, outlets, me and my mom and my little niece. And we was like, here go a food truck right here. Let's eat, man. And they're really, really nice. They're really, really nice. Hey, I, what'd you say, babe? Aaron Rodgers at the game. Aaron Rodgers at the game? Oh, that's so dope. That's so dope. Um, hey, I DMC. Hello, hello, sunshine. Welcome to the live stream. Um, I don't know what happened to your live stream earlier today. I am the um, I, I DMC because I was there. We was talking, chopping it up, and then it just went away. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but but yeah, definitely go live more often. You know, keep going live. People people will show up. Slowly but surely, they'll they'll show up uh, for sure. But yeah, so their food is good. I don't think anyone in the stream is from the Texas area, it lived by me or whatever. But uh, if you're ever in North Texas, you have to check out One Guy Steak and Chicken. That's what, and they will be. I'm telling you, Dallas will be on board. Yes. It just takes a little time. How long did it take you guys to um, gain your following um, in Mississippi? And it's, I'm telling you, we kind of like on the same, same grind. Like we're trying to gain this audience here on YouTube and it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. We pre Listen, we appreciate y'all. Y'all are literally angels like heaven sent to us <laughs> so everybody's probably thinking like what are they talking about listen it's more than just the food okay it's, it's more than just the food so yeah you'll get there octavia you and chef kendrick uh y'all will y'all will get there for sure so so living your best life are you serious? You earned eight, you gained eight family members in four months. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Okay, so if you are just coming in, um, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Make sure you give this um, stream a thumbs up. We have nine people in the building. Nine people in the building, you guys. Yes, make sure you guys are giving this stream a thumbs up. Um, am I freezing? Because last night, it was horrible. It was horrible last night with, with the signal in this hotel. 
So am I? Let me know if I'm buffering. Because if I am, then I'm probably gonna have to like shut it down. Because it was just too bad. I think it was the weather. Because it was a horrible storm last night. Hey, Monique. Good morning. I keep saying good morning. Good, because probably because I just woke up from a nap not too long ago. Um, okay, great. Hello, sunshine. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Uh oh, I hope I'm not freezing. I don't want to freeze. I don't want to freeze. <laughs> We got 10 people in here, you guys, but only seven likes. So if you are coming in and you have not given this stream a thumbs up, make sure you hit that thumb. What, what have you done? Because we have a lot of YouTubers in here who's striving to get their 1K, um, including me. So what have you done? Short and sweet. Hey, Shay Dreams. Hello, sunshine. Welcome to the live stream. We are shining our light. Um, about to share you. Thank you so much, living your best life. I appreciate that. This live stream is all about positivity. Uh, we are encouraging each other, uplifting each other. No negative negativity in this stream at all. Um, and feel free to shine your light with each other. Shot, drop, raise the sunshine on each other's channel. Um, yesterday was a great day for us. We were hitting our goals. The, um, the signal in this hotel was horrible, so we had to cut it short. But Monday morning, actually, someone hit 1K in this live stream, you guys. 1K, they hit their goal uh, in this live stream. So it's possible, it's doable. Uh, once we get some more people in the live stream, we'll start working on some of our goals. But for now, you can just be networking with one another. Yes, drop those rays of sunshine, TT, the right way, right? Do it the right way. Thank you so much, living your best life. Um, I think I saw on my phone, I saw it. Let me see. Yep, the Demo Shack family shared the video as well. Um, we don't have a community tab yet. Yet, but we will be getting one soon. Okay, we will be getting one soon, for sure. So, um, what's up with the Blue Ranch? Okay, so I am um, IDMC. I have to get your name right. Um, I, no, not I am. IDMC, IDMC. Um, so the Blue Ranches are people who um, have a little bit more uh, authority in the chat. So we, they're, called, they're called moderators and um to be a Blue Ranch, you have to be given a Blue Ranch by the host. And uh, if there's like trolls or like spam in the in the live stream, uh, they can delete comments. They can block people. Um, and they just have a little bit more authority. That's basically the same authority I have um, in the chat, in the live stream. If you grind harder, you can hit 1K by the end of the month. I'm telling you, this month of May. Uh oh, I'm sorry, y'all. The month of May is like, is like my our grind season. Like both of us, like I know that it go to to gain hours. You have to go live. Um, it definitely helps out a lot. So I'm just kind of I'd be nervous to go on live. I'm not even gonna lie, um, but I'm just putting that fear behind me because I know to accomplish the goal that we want to accomplish and the amount of time we need to accomplish it. Um, uh, you have to go live and, and be present on YouTube. Got you. Do we dedicate our uh, moderators? Yes. So I um, dedicate the, mon the moderators and um, these are people who are loyal. Like a good moderator is someone who is loyal, someone who's going to show up to your live streams, someone who um, is going to basically show up and, and do what they need to do, do the work to become a moderator. So, yeah. Dude, Shay, yes, you are so right. Like, I, listen, the Demoshek family really encourages me to go live, as well as um, Carly Rose. She encourages me to go live, too, because, um, let's, oh, hey, um, because it is nerve-wracking. It's very, literally, it's like you're talking to a screen. And 
<laughs> I heard somebody say, like, um, you're talking to imaginary people. Like, you guys are not imaginary. You're real people. Um, but it can be kind of like, what is really going on here? You know, it can be nerve wracking, but we got to do what we got to do. Um, hello, E. A P G T V. Hello, sunshine. Make sure you give this a um, thumbs up, you guys. When you come in, we got nine thumbs up, so we need one more to ten. Um, Dimashek family is still in the building. Um, let's see who's still here. Living your best life is still here. I've been live every day, and that's how my numbers keep growing. See. I I need to go to one of your live streams because I see you here today. I need to go and support you. Make a topic and people will come. Mm, that's a good idea. So maybe tomorrow we can have a topic tomorrow. We can have a topic for tomorrow. Yes. Um, and that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Like maybe like each day I can kind of, or I can kind of make a list, a schedule of things that we can talk about together. Um, on Fridays, we do go live uh, for Faith Driven Fridays, and that's a topic about um, God and faith and things like that. But throughout the week, um, throughout the week, we just kind of network and just talk and chill and hang out. Um, but yeah, I think having topics definitely will help. That's good. That's good. So living your best life, how long have you been a YouTuber? Like how long have you been on YouTube? <laughs> Thanks, TT. <laughs> be lit. We strangers trying to become family and friends. And you guys know what? You know what? I would have never thought that I would connect with so many genuine people. Like when we started YouTube, I didn't even know about like that we would meet so many awesome people. Like there are some really good people that are YouTubers, you know, and they're grinding just like you are trying to get your numbers up, trying to get your watch hours, but also trying to just make good content, like great content creators. And my Blue Ranchers are those are some of those people that some genuine people that I've met even though we've never like physically met in person, but I feel like I know them like in real life. Like, I feel like I know you. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about being a creator. It is. And it's some people who really believe in what you're doing. They really support you and, and, and believe that, you know, you're, you're a good person. So you're 26 away. I, your first goal is it 100 subscribers? Is that I think that's your first? I think you said it. You were like 60 something. Wow! So you've been working today. You've been grinding. Yes, come on, TT. Come, uh oh, uh oh. Y'all, y'all know who in the building? Y'all know who in the building? That's my boo. That's my boo thing. <laughs> That's my boo thing. Everybody say hi to Chris. I know, I know y'all keep saying hi to him, but <laughs> he in the chat now. <laughs> Chris is in the building. CLT. Now, um, <laughs> y'all can hit up. Babe, why don't you um go ahead and subscribe to... uh everyone in the chat so they can get another um uh, another um family member from us do you know oh you don't have a laptop you know how to do it on your phone okay yeah he's gonna um chris is gonna grab you guys to make sure um <laughs> listen i literally want to be a dj like there's some things in life that I want to be, you know, like one of them, I always thought that I was a rapper. Okay. I always wanted to be a rapper. And then I end up marrying someone who is super talented at that. And then secondly, I always wanted to be, should I share this, babe? I always want to be a ninja, y'all. <laughs> I want to be a real life ninja. Like I want to know karate, like all of that. I want to know karate. I want to be a ninja. I want to be a rapper. I think being a DJ is incredibly dope. 
incredibly dope. I think that is an amazing, that's an amazing gift, man, to be able to be a DJ, not the DJs that just got the computer and that's it. Like, I want to be like a real DJ that do like, and then do the horn. Like, I want to be a DJ like that. Like, for real. Is Road to Monetization? Yeah, he is here. Hello, Road to Monetization. Yesterday, we helped him get to some of his goals um, yesterday. Yes, that is a dope name. I'm telling you, it's just straight to the point. Like, this is what I'm on. Like, let's just, this is just it. <laughs> IDMC, ID you know what? I'm not even going to lie. When the first time I saw Road to Monetization, um, uh, name, I immediately thought of Saul. I was like, dude, he about to get his um, transformation. What? You hit 1K yesterday? Yes, you guys. Yes. So dope, y'all. Let's drop some party hats. Drop some party hats for Road to Monetization. Wow. That is so great. Congratulations, you uh, Road to Monetization. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. See, we have to celebrate. We have to celebrate people. Because if you don't celebrate other people, nobody's going to celebrate you when your time comes. So party. Where's the party hat emoji? How come I can't find it? I'm trying to celebrate you now. Let me see. Uh-oh, I can't find it. I can't even find it. Ooh, I'm talking about dropping emojis. Oh, here we go. Here goes some. Here we go. I'll do this one. Um, congratulations, Road to Monetization. And I can say, you know, if you were in here and you were helping Road to Monetization hit one of their milestones, um, then then you then you were a part of that. You were part of their family. So Trey and Nene, Trey and Nene is in the building. What's up, Trey and Nene? The funniest couple on YouTube, you guys. The funniest couple on YouTube. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, dude. I'm telling you. Is this Trey or Nene or both of y'all? Who's here? Who are we talking to? Who are we talking to? Yes, congratulations, Road to Monetization. Hit they 1K. For real, that is amazing. So now... Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. So now um, you have to work on your hours. Uh, Road to Monetization. You may even be there. I don't even know. Um, but... K is it is it Kma? No, it's not Kma. Kma Nettie. Nettie. Kma Nettie. I think I said that right. I'm sorry. Hey Sunshine. I'm talking. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> I am so sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, MC Games. Yes, we're connected. You already know we connected MC Games. And welcome to the live stream. Make sure you guys are giving this a thumbs up. What's up? Uploading a challenge. Uh, we called y'all out. You called us out on a challenge. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. I hope it ain't nothing crazy now. Because we just like y'all, we'll quit in a minute. <laughs> we don't play that. <laughs> they was like, we'll, we'll quit a challenge in a minute. Listen. Uh-oh. I'm eager to see what, what the challenge is. Yes. Nice meeting you, uh, living your best life. Have a great evening. And make sure before you go, drop um, a thumbs up. It's romantic. Okay. Okay. We spicing it up a little bit. Babe, you hear this? Are you still in the live stream, babe? Yeah. Um, Trey and Nini then challenged us to a challenge and they said it's romantic. Oh, shuck it, shuck it now. We ain't trying to show y'all nothing. Is my I think my daddy's still in here. Y'all, my daddy was in the um. My daddy was in the stream. I can't be talking like that with my daddy in the stream. Mm -mm, can't be doing that. My daddy will be like, Melissa, <laughs> I taught you, you I taught you better than that. I'm married. What? Huh? No, he don't have a uh he doesn't have a channel. He just like, you know, you can log in or whatever and Instagram gives you. Basically, Instagram gives you a channel once you log in. What up, Demo fam? 
What's his niche? Who's niche? Got you. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have a um channel. He just kind of log in so he can comment and stuff on our stuff or whatever. Um, but yeah, you guys. Yeah, so, so yeah, we like challenges. We do enjoy doing challenges or whatever. We do. Yes, ma'am. Um, we got 11 people in here. Um, so look through the chat to see if you have someone or don't have someone. Road to monetization. They reached their 1K. That's amazing. That's awesome, you guys. If you have a community tab, feel free to share us out, share this stream out. Uh, we don't have our monetize, uh, our um, our community tab yet, but we will be getting one soon. Okay, it will be sooner than later. Let's just say that. Um, and once we get our tab, when y'all go live and stuff, y'all videos, we will be sharing like crazy because it's free. It's free to share, okay? It's free to share information. And it's free to share. Yeah, speaking into existence, sis, or, or bro. I don't know who's who's typing. Um, I watched Ray and Nene. He said he go eat it like some chicken. Dude, so dead. <laughs> Girl, I was so dead on that part. I was like, that's Chris all day. Chris do not eat nothing from the front. Babe, I got to send you a um, Trey and Nene video with the, one of their challenges. It is so funny. You got what? Um, you remember you be like, uh, real men don't eat ice cream cones? Right. I don't know if y'all can hear him talking. Um, yes, he does not. He don't eat ice cream cones. He don't eat nothing that he has to like. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I was like, dude, that's Chris all day. That's Chris all day. Um, so yes, EAPG TV, the community tab is given at 1K. Um, $10 says Chris is watching the game. Um, uh, Chris, are you watching the game? Yeah. yeah. Yep. He's watching the game. Of course he's watching the game. Um, yes, he's watching the game right now. Uh, Roll to monetization. I will share. I don't know when YouTube is giving community tab. Okay, right. Because you just hit your 1K. They say it takes seven days. Like exactly seven days or whatever um, to get your community tab. So all the couples out there that like to do challenges, download the ultimate intimacy app. Romantic and great way to create content. Hmm. Interesting. So the ultimate intimacy app. What is that? <laughs> Hello. Um. H Fishing, welcome sunshine, welcome to the live stream. We are shining our light in here, you guys. All positivity, no negativity. Um, all positivity, no negativity. Uh, fishing, why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up since you're coming on in? Everyone say hello to um, fishing. We're doing. I'm doing great. I'm doing great this today. Today was actually a really good day for me. Work was good. After work was good. I took an anointed, mm, an anointed nap today, and it was it was glorious. It was glorious. So I'm feeling I'm up, y'all. <laughs> I'm up because I done took me a nap. Okay, I'm missing stuff. Um, so I think so. But people say it takes a long time to get the features of live streaming and community tabs. Right. Because there are, for those who don't know, there are features in the, um, let me make sure I put it on live chat. Uh, there are features on uh, the live stream, like people who, who like have super chat and stuff and like all types of stuff you can do with your um, live, your live chat. Like people be dropping stacks because they got it like that. According to, <laughs> according to Val and Coco, I'll be like, ooh, y'all out here rich, dropping stacks. Um, 
Okay, so let me go back. It says it took us two weeks. Oh, it did take y'all two weeks. Okay. Because I know YouTube, uh, I think, who said that? Somebody said in, a, in another stream that it was taking a while for people to get their stuff, to get their community. To, I think they were backed up or whatever. Or there was a glitch or something. I'm not sure. Um, hey, Cleveland said, hey, fishing. IDMC said you have to DL and you download it, okay, and use it first, okay. Oh, we got somebody new here. Hey, um, CJF Art 90 hello, hello. Uh, make sure you're giving this a thumbs up. Hello, M&R, um, Man Manzu and Ronnie. Hello, you guys. Make sure you're giving this stream a thumbs up. Welcome, sunshines. We're in here shining our light bright. You guys, um, I see you networking. Make Just make sure you're doing it the right way. Okay. You're going to their content. You're actually watching it. Um, so it honestly, it should take you a little bit of time to connect to someone because you will be watching their content and that doesn't take two seconds. So make sure you watch a little bit of their content. Okay. Um, and, and leave a genuine comment. So their numbers can stick. Nobody wants to wake up tomorrow and see their number went down. Okay, so make sure you're doing it the right way. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Yeah, so um, M and R, we are connected. I can tell from your profile picture that we are connected. Um, so make sure uh, you're connected to us, the host, Chris and I. For those who have not been with me, rocking with me for the past few days, uh, I'm out of town for work. So this is not my house. Okay. Uh, I'm at a hotel. Chris is at home. We're about 300 miles away from each other right now. But Chris is on the phone. Say hey, Chris. Okay. I don't know if they heard you. Um, <laughs> but Chris is on the phone. We stay on the phone with each other when, when I'm out of town. Um, but yes, you guys. So I'm going to download that app for real. So I saw you said something about your anniversary. Let me see. It's legit. My wife and I used it for our sixth marriage anniversary. Six years. That's awesome. Man, Chris and I, we coming on year two. It's going kind of fast. You think it's going fast, babe? Yeah. You think it's going fast? I think so, too. I feel like we just had gotten married. Like it's about to be year two in um, August. We do, it again. do it again. Do y'all hear this? Chris is talking about having another wedding ceremony. Chris, it's not even been. It hasn't even been two years yet. What? In the world? <laughs> what in the world? You guys, what year is a good a good year um, to drop to have? <laughs> they laughing at you. <laughs> Chris liked to party. That's what he want to do. He liked to party. Yeah, drop them anniversary dates. If you are married, or even if you're in a relationship with someone, drop how many years y'all been together. Where is your husband? Is is he on working? Um, is he on? He's not on the live. I don't think I think he's on the live show. I just he's I think he's just not typing. Like he's here, he's just not typing. Anything. Um, yeah, so 22 or oh, 22 more. Um, so drop them dates, you guys. So seven years. So TT TT party six been to been married for seven, right? But you've been together for 10 years. Is that is that correct? I think I got that right. Five years. Hey, five years on October. Going on seven. Dating for 11 years. Dang. Okay. Um, that's awesome. See? Y'all. Yes. I love that. What'd you say, babe? Ciao. Okay, I'll talk to you later. No, I'm not good. Oh, okay. I thought you was leaving. Yeah. Just 
Just made one year in March with my boyfriend. We fresh and new. Okay, see? I love that. So they just made their first year in March. Congratulations to that. Uh, we fresh and new. It's a lot to, I'm telling you, when Chris and I was dating, we were dating with a purpose. Like we, we work to the point. Um, okay. Hey, Octavia, welcome back. Um, when Chris and I were dating, well, I don't know if y'all saw our, how we met story, but me and Chris, we met online and we met on this app called plenty of fish. And when we were dating, we were like, okay, we're getting older <laughs> in life and we really want to settle down with someone. So we were like, if we're going to give this, a, give this a try, we're going to date and pray about this to see if we are to get, if we were to get married and we dated with a serious purpose, you guys, like we got to know each other so well. And I can't even say we got each other know so well, whatever, because there's so much more you can still learn about someone. Uh, but we, we had a purpose in mind. And we were like, we're not going to date for a super, 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 super long time before we get married. Um, yeah. I'm learning the Demichek family, but he is good. And I was able to bring him to mama. All right. See, that's what matters. Because we all done dated some folks where you cannot bring home to mama and daddy. Okay. <laughs> We've all been in those relationships. We've all been in those relationships where you cannot bring them home or no, don't nobody know about them. Like just your, just your best friends know you dating him or dating her. Like that's it. <laughs> she said, right. <laughs> For real. Because um, I done dated some knuckleheads back in the day. And Chris dated some crazy girls back in the day. So when we found each other, we was like, we're not putting up with no mess. Like, is this the real deal or not? Because I'm not about to be doing this for the rest of my life. I ain't doing this all day. That's a major score. It is. It's major. Because you, you can't, nowadays, you can't bring everybody home. It's hard dating in 2019. I'm, I bet. It was hard dating. Uh, when what year did we meet, babe? I should know this. 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was hard dating in 2016. And honestly, we weren't even online. Like I wasn't even online to to like really date someone for real. Like I was just on there because I was bored. I can only imagine how hard it is now. For real. Um, it is Demichek family. He's the only one mama liked and she prayed on it. Okay. You got a praying mama. Now I'm telling you, if your mama praying and she's feeling peace about it, this might, she might be on, you might be on to something. Listen, you two make sure you pray together. Okay. Make sure. I don't know if you are, um, religious or anything like that or into God, but pray together. Um, and make sure, make sure that you two are on one accord. Okay. When it comes to your faith, when it comes to, to, to a lot of major things that's important to you. She got a spirit of discernment. So she will know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mama, my mama knew a lot of times like, no, nope, this ain't it. Stop wasting your time. Come on. I better get, we better get an invitation. Yes. I am saved and I love the Lord. That is good. Now make sure your boo is saved and love the Lord too. Because if he's not, and you guys feel like it's time to take it to the next step and get into a marriage, that right there, not being equally yoked is going to make it very, very difficult. It's going to make it very difficult. Um, I am Courtney. She just posted, her and her husband just posted a video about that. Can you date someone or be married to someone and not have the same, you know, religious beliefs or whatever, the same spiritual faith? Uh, 
Yeah, I know. Obviously, you can do that, but we, you know, they were talking about their thoughts about it or whatever. I mean, I feel like it's just it's just easier when you guys are kind of on the same page when it comes to faith. Um, and the Bible says that two should be equally yoked. I don't think so. What you think? What you think, Trey and Nene? What y'all what y'all think about that? Yeah, I walk more in God. He hasn't, he wasn't at first, but now he's and he's learning. I drag him to church and all. Okay, so that's good that he's willing to you know to go with you, you know, to church. Like when I met um two different teachings will always cause conflict. That is so true. I think you have to be on the same page spiritually. Yes, I do too. And when I met Chris, listen, that was that's what attracted me to Chris because I will call him like what I'll call him, hey boo, what you doing? Oh yeah, I'm I'm on my way to Bible study. I'll call you back. Click. What? Like, did he just hang up on me um to go to Bible study? <laughs> like I was at first I was like, why he ain't trying to talk to me? But then I thought about it. I was like, this man is really trying to get his spiritual life together. And that was really, that was really, really good. Like that was a big part of the reason why we began dating, dating, like seriously. Okay. So I can attest to an equally yoke thing. It's not always a big difference in religion. You can, it can level of a spiritual mature. Everyone isn't on the same level. Mm. You're right. Everyone is not on the same level. He want if he wants me, he has to want God to. Yeah, I, I like that. If he wants me, he's gonna want God to. Um, everyone is not on the same level spiritually, and you shouldn't put someone down because they're not on the same level level as you spiritually. You know, um, so. Just because, you know, this person don't go to church every Sunday or this person don't read their Bible every day. Da, da, da. That, that doesn't mean that you're better than them or they're less than you are because then you're casting judgment on someone. And we're not supposed to judge one another. You know, we're supposed to love and pray for one another. So just because someone is not on the same level does not mean that you're better than them. And people can have their reasons for not going to church at this season in their life. Like, yes, we should go to church and and worship with other believers, but maybe someone could be dealing with some church hurt or they may not have found a church home yet that they are connected to. You know, there was a period in our in my life where I wasn't going to church. And, um, but I was still read my Bible. I was still praying. I was still sharpening my relationship with God, but I wasn't actually going to a physical building. And plus the Bible say that we are the church. So it's not all about being in a physical building every single Sunday that becomes religion that becomes tradition, you know? So, so yeah, let me see what y'all saying. Right. You just pray that they will seek the Lord and let them look at you and see God in you. And they will come to come on, come on. Let me turn this thing up. Come on. That's right. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it. They said, keep praying, keep seeking after the Lord, and they will begin to look to you and they will see the light of Christ in you. That's why in, the, in here, we shine our light. We shine our light. Even in dark places, you guys, you shine your light bright because people will see something different about you. They'd be like, why is she... So this should be driving her crazy right now, but it's not. Why is she not going crazy? Why is she not going talking, being snappy with the boss? You know, such and such did her wrong, but why is she not snapping on her? That's because I have the light of Christ in me. And people will see that and wonder what it is. And eventually you keep shot, dropping your rays of sunshine. Somebody's going to ask you, what's so different about you? And that's your opportunity to share the, um, the, share the love of God with them. So we have to understand, okay, where we at? We have to understand that we are the church and to and continue to be the church when we're not. That's that confirmation. Uh, before I met Nini, I was lost in Buddhism. Um, 
numb. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. What's he done? I don't know, man. That's messed up, bro. Like, I don't even know right now. Like, are you serious or not? <laughs> and if you were, if you were lost in Buddhism and, and Nini helped shine a light on the truth of that, that's a blessing. Like, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, cool and the foolers, welcome to the live stream. We're in here talking and chatting, sh shining our light. Um, give this stream a thumbs up, you guys. When you come in, um, hello, how are you? Cool with the foolers? <sighs> yes. Okay, Trey, you gotta you gotta talk to us. I almost lost Shaquille's sunflower. What? See. <laughs> Dude, you're nuts, man. What are you talking about? Right. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. I'm doing fine. That's good. I'm glad you're doing well. On Martin. That was on today. Were you watching Martin today? Because that was on. I swear. He was at the temple when he had all the hood. All the people had them hoods on. He had to lay on them, uh, that bed of nails. That was on today. I was watching that. Dude. <laughs> Dude is dumb. Uh oh. XO Kelly Jelly XO is in the building. Is in the building. What's up, Kelly X Ke XO Kelly Jelly XO? I just love your name. I'm gonna say that every time you pop up. I'm, I'm gonna just say it. Um, it's 4 a.m. Girl, go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Well, thank you for being here and stopping by, hanging out with us. Yes, like TT says, smash it, smash it, smash it. Um, I'm so glad you're doing good. XO Jelly Kelly XO. Or XO Kelly Jelly XO. I'm glad you're doing good, girl. I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. Um, we just in here talking, chatting, uh, networking, getting to know each other even better. Uh, we are we're strangers. I think um, someone said this: we're strangers, but we're trying to get to know each other uh, to become family and friends. I'll say that. Uh oh. Am I frozen? Am I frozen, you guys? Yeah. Oh, crap. In my back, back. Okay, TT said I'm clear now. <laughs> okay, y'all know this internet be tripping up in here. Y'all already know. If it start getting bad, let me know. Okay, I just got that sign on the top of the screen that said buffering. Um. Yeah, so like I was about to say, uh, while you are dating someone, for those who are single in here. Uh, or dating someone, just make sure your eyes, your eyes and ears are open. Like your natural eyes and ears are open, but also your spiritual eyes are open. Your spiritual ears are open because I know in the past when dating someone, you'll get so wrapped up and this person, this man, this woman is just amazing. And you miss a lot of red flags that were clearly shown to you and you'll miss those red flags. Do not ignore the red flags, okay? Don't ignore them. Keep your natural ears open, your natural eyes open and both your spiritual and, and spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears open because, and then you have to ask yourself because no one's perfect. So there are going to be issues with absolutely everyone, but there are some red flags that just un that are unacceptable for you. I don't know what your what your level of tolerance is. 
You know what I'm saying? So you have to figure that out for yourself. What can I tolerate and what can I not tolerate? Because I'll tell you this, whatever you tolerate while you're dating, when you get married, things don't just automatically disappear. So if this person, you know, when you go into his bathroom, he always got drawers on the floor. Okay. Now I'm not saying this. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a real life thing. Okay. I'm just saying an example. If we always got drawers on the floor, you guys in the bathroom while y'all dating, when you get married, them drawers on the floor ain't going nowhere. Okay. So if you can't tell her, hey, hey. what? I'm not talking about you, babe. Oh. What? You see, you just told her yourself. <laughs> you just told on yourself, babe. Stop. I wasn't even talking about you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what those things are. That you be like, mm, that gets on my last nerves. Don't think that thing that don't get on your last nerves is going to leave once you get married. Okay. I cannot stand. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you're saying. You have been talking to Nene. Oh, hey, Nene. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, it's going to be the same thing when y'all get married. Magnified. TT said it's going to be magnified. The Demoshek family. Okay, cool. That's good to hear. I ran. I can't stand a junkie woman. That's a deal breaker. You got to figure out what your deal breakers are for sure. And when you see one of those deal breakers, do not ignore it. Do not ignore it. But then it takes, and then it takes a lot of communication too, though, because if it's something simple that, you know, can be easily fixed, like, um, like draws on the floor, um, then just say, Hey, you know, can we work on this, you know, or you can do something like put a hamper in the bathroom. <laughs> Oof, you guys, this is so funny. You can put a hamper. I'm like crying. Okay. You can put a hamper in the bathroom.